this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to adjust the uh, large and small antechamber doors for proper closing tension. I'm now going to demonstrate how to adjust the large antechamber door. Uh, this will require a 9 16 um, inch open wrench. To begin, uh, would you, you want to loosen the jamming nut closest to the door handle. There's a couple of uh, jamming nuts, so you want to loosen the one that's closest to the door handle away from the, uh, the uh, antechamber door. To loosen, simply install your wrench and turn clockwise. Okay, this antechamber as it sits now is a little soggy and this presents a problem where uh, when you start evacuating, uh, you do not get a good pump down um, and you start pulling in um, a bunch of atmosphere into the antechamber. So to correct that problem, we are going to adjust the door. Um, so now, now that we've loosened the uh, jamming nut, what you want to do is to increase the uh, closing tension, you want to turn the antechamber door clockwise. And that feels about right. You don't want this, you don't want this uh, to be too tight or too loose. So too tight will put a strain on the, uh, on the uh, door handle mechanism. Too loose will present a problem. Once again, you'll pull in oxygen. Uh, you won't be able to get good pump downs on the, on the antechamber. So once you've made your adjustment, lock, uh, close the antechamber door and secure that adjustment by retightening the jamming nut with your 9 16 inch wrench uh, and turn this counterclockwise to secure the adjustment and once that's been tightened your antechamber uh, door adjustment has been made and now on to the uh, small antechamber door adjustment uh, this procedure will require the uh, 7 16 uh, inch open wrench. Uh, in this case, uh, we have a similar situation as our previous antechamber door adjustment where the um, antechamber door was loose, not enough uh, closing tension. And uh, to correct that problem, we are going to loosen the uh, jamming nut that is located right here. And uh, we're gonna loosen that by turning it clockwise. Okay. And once again, we need to find the ideal spot where, um, where the antechamber door closes correctly so that we can successfully pull vacuum on this antechamber without uh, you know compromising the uh, the volume inside of it by pulling in oxygen you know so um, uh, once again um, uh, clockwise increases the closing tension that's a whole lot of tension there we do not want that once again that'll put a whole lot of strain on the uh, on the uh, door clamp mechanism uh, but yet we don't want it to lose either because we want this to hold uh, uh, a good vacuum. So uh, this is too tight, so we're going to loosen that up a little. And that's, I've, I've gone too far now, so it's just a matter of trial and error here. And I think, yeah, this is it right here. This is what we want. Not too loose, not too tight. Um, and to secure your adjustment, cl close the door and then simply tighten the uh, jamming nut by installing your uh, 7 16 uh, inch open wrench and turning counterclockwise to lock the adjustment that you just made. Once you've tightened that uh, jamming nut, your antechamber has now been adjusted. Please follow the same antechamber door adjustment steps.
for the inside doors.